The idea that basically technology on the one hand allows us to better understand what happens in space, but it also helps us to transform space in different ways, you know, heating, cooling, or all the other interactions that, uh, that can be conducive to what, uh, what we do at work. MIT was actually one of the first cities, to, one of the first uh, campuses, to be totally covered by Wi-Fi in the early 2000s and to start experimenting with technology everywhere, in the classroom and on campus. And because of this, we've seen a big change in the way people used to work and the way people work today. So what we said is, okay, we know about these changes. What if we could measure them? Because nobody has actually been, uh, been doing, uh, using data to measure them. And you know, the impressive thing is that uh, technology is changing the way we do this, but then technology can also become the way for us to measure what is going on. And Le Corbusier and his team in the 1930s did uh, uh, something called the Chart de 10. And the idea there was in a city, we should divide everything. We should have a space for living, a space for uh, working, a space for leisure, and then connections between those spaces. But if you think about a city like this, a city like this is really totally inefficient. If you want, it's about looking about three variables, it's about physical space, it's about how we connect and collaborate also digitally, and how all of this results in, in things we produce, in this case, mostly paper and patterns. So if you measure all of that, you can almost like crack what is uh, this kind of uh, secret sauce of, uh, of the campus, of our campus, but many other places. Think about a big company or, you know, that brings people together in order to collaborate in physical space, in digital space, and, uh, and achieve something together. We looked at, uh, at really where energy goes in buildings. And if you look at this, we waste a huge amount of energy to, to heat up empty spaces. So the idea for the future is almost, can you think about like a local warming, a way that heating will be and cooling will be you know, focused on people. You don't need to heat the whole space. You can just you know, heat uh, people where they are. <laughs>